Did, you, did it lose the fucking the audio from the Discord thing? No. Oh, you just thought it was like <laughs> no. I heard all of it. I heard every single part of it. Hey, no, it's one seventy nine today of Beyond the Pine. I thank you for being Ooh. here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you don't have anywhere else to be, so you're here with us because we don't have anywhere else to be. We don't I actually be. have a lot of work to do. I have to get going. Um, James has been holding do, in a rat shit work. for weeks. A r- well, because I swallowed that rat. <laughs> a about a rat week shit, ago. dude. I have to go take a rat <laughs> shit. <laughs> What's a rat shit? Oh, it's because it's a rat because I swallowed a rat. And, and so the rat is coming out in shit. It's kind of like bubble gum. It stays in there for seven years and it lays eggs. Seven years. <laughs> it lays eggs. And then what happens is the eggs hatch and then you have friends. <laughs> and you have finally your fucking friends, dude, your little rat friends, man. Um, you got to pass them like kidney stones, dude. Oh. <laughs> Fucking laying an egg out of your crumb, <laughs> dude! Your fucking crumb snake, you guys. This was a uh, this was a great episode. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite. <laughs> no, you say it. Do we just jinx? Yeah. Buy me a Do soda. Do we just jinx? Buy me a soda. Buying me soda. Buying me soda. <laughs> Heat ray. Yeah, dude, it's my superpower. I had a good time, man. We talked about a lot of fun stuff, dude. We had our callers. We had callers we had our, call in uh-huh. today, dude. A lot of Live. great questions. Questions about uh, our, our friendship with SB7, our, our favorite videos, uh, most hectic videos. <sighs> a lot of people seem to forget my name. Um, yeah. I don't I think maybe, that, hopefully there's just a bit. If it was a bit, that's a great bit. <laughs> there's probably a um, bit. If not, if not, I'm going to forget about it. So <laughs> okay. It doesn't, it doesn't even bother me if it was if it was real, forgetting my name. It doesn't even bother me. No, he didn't. Um, James did not get heated and I didn't. I didn't, I didn't get, really call him out on it, and it didn't make no. him laugh. Um, no, none of that really happened, dude. No, he's feeling good. He's feeling. But it good. was a great episode. Yeah, I had a great um, conversation with this guy James, my friend here. Yeah, that's me, <laughs> co-host, anchor. co-host James, anchor man James. <laughs> what else? What else happened on this episode? We had a lot well, going on. You're gonna have to just find out. Yeah. take a listen. Take a listen. And here it is. I come from the womb. I come from a womb down under. Get out of run. Get out of slip and slide under. Slip and slide. Out of the womb, you know what I mean? The Ooh. wedding bride. That's sort of hill. how it came out. She falls inside. She the falls for shark. Can't see anything. It's dark. Melting. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dude, bro? Dude, um, real quick, I just wanted to ask you a big question. Don't ask me anything. Can okay, you make go. me laugh? Um, do you do, do you do do that? You do do that every week. <laughs> you do do that every week. <laughs> Come on, man. You put yourself at a deficit here by this. That's gonna mess with the fucking editing of the audio. <laughs> you put yourself. Bye. You put yourself in the position to not want. To, that's like watching a try not to laugh at this video. I'm exactly, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to laugh at my friend. No, but what happens is when you know you're not supposed to laugh. It's funny for me. It's not funny for you. It's a challenge, dude. I'm trying to become mentally stronger. I'm not a fucking challenge, man. I'm a human being, dude. Challenge me. I challenge you. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's hit it. Stop, man. Come back to reality. Come on, dude. So close, dude. Come back to reality, man. Just keep going, just like that, Lisa. just like that. Just keep going, keep going, just like that. I'm so close, I'm so close. Oh, don't yuck, man! You're so fucking close to coming. No, what was that to little laughing. cute smile, dude? No, you're not. You're just high. I'm not high. Okay, what's well, one seventy eight? One seventy nine. One seventy nine. Yeah. Beyond the pine. One seventy nine. You know what they say when it rhymes? It's a special landmark episode. Yeah. And we are so excited because L-A-R-D-V-R-K, it's our first. L A R D V R K. That's landmark K. No, that's Kmart. That's Kmart, baby. The prices are. It's the first episode we're doing callers. We're having people call into the show. That's right. We, and I'm so excited for that. Kib is so excited for that. Ba- you guys are so excited for that. Basically, you're so excited. Just be patient and don't. Oh, even though you're excited, freak out because don't bust too quickly. Yeah, if you're if you're jerking it. Hurting it, perfectly perverting it. If you're if you're squirting it, or usurping you know, you're, it, usurping it, you're slurping it. Oh, um, if you're burping it, hang on, just be patient. I got a call from the hospital. 
Got you, bro. I fucking got you. Yeah, to make me laugh, dude. Yeah, yeah, Good man. luck. Good luck, dude. I'm pissed. Yeah, I know you are, dude. You're all, you're the pissed one, man. I'm the fucking hot one. James is the sexy one. You're the hot one for sure. <laughs> you heard me say <laughs> you were sexy after that, and it disarmed your you're anger. You're the hot one. Dude, it disarmed your anger from me saying that. <laughs> my armor was one. already on <laughs> my armor. <laughs> My armor's dude. been dissolved, dude. Dude, James is a fucking dissolvable tablet of anger. Dude, no, I'm one of those little Time pills bombs. where you, you drop it into a thing of water and it turns into a dinosaur. You know, you're... Dude, you know you what are. that thing is? Yeah, I love you know that. You, do you know this thing? I do know this thing. I heard about these things and you drop them... Do you, know this, do you know this Wait. thing? You, you are a pill? Fuck the little <laughs> pill one, though. Do you remember the one that was like this little hard action figure and he literally just grew and became this like gelatin... Hard as a rock? And blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I slap him around. Yeah, you did slap him around. You fucking pervert. You love that you shit. You slap him around. See if he's. See You're if he so knows. far to the right of me. So I'm just like you. F- I'm side eyeing you for the whole podcast. You fucking pervert. I hate it. You <laughs> slap him around a little bit, a little bit. See if he calls the cops. <laughs> sometimes he calls the cops. Sometimes he's prepared for battle. Are you still smoking? You know. Yeah, I am too. Dude, actually, um, I know. I'm less. Mighty meant. My, so good. That's great. Fuck mighty man. I um I support you wanting to quit vaping so much. Um, I'm not Stuff. in that same boat because I, I'm just like fine with it right now. Yeah. Where I'm not like every time I'm vaping, I'm not like oh man, I want to quit. Um, I do want to quit eventually again, but I mean I'm fine with it right now. I got stuff going on. I'm fucking stressed. I'm busy, and I'm just like yeah, you know? yeah. That's usually zoot, 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 zoot. Uh, you know what I mean. I do the egg, same thing. Egg, egg, you know. <laughs> Dude, sometimes <laughs> I just sit at home and I'll be like, oh, God, egg, 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 egg. I am, um, you know? my fucking lungs are still fucked, but it's, it's not the COVID, COVID thing. It's not, I, cause the, I was sick for three months, not ha- with right. it wasn't COVID. And you remember my lungs were fucked. And then I was like on and off with this cough. My stream remembers. Like six months ago. Literally like six months ago. The, yes. The yeah. first three months of those six that. months, maybe mm-hmm. seven, eight months. I don't even remember anymore, but, um, <laughs> Um, I haven't shaken this cough. And then it did go away when I went to an asthma specialist and a lung specialist. And he's like, well, I'm going to treat you for post-nasal drip and I'm going to treat you for- And polio. For suck lungs. Just sucked lungs, dude. The ones Sucked suck. lungs because what happens is they're re- replicating a vacuum. Born with them, can't live without them. And then yeah. he, he gave me something else. So I had these three fucking killer medications. And after like three days, I started feeling better. Started to slowly stop taking the medication. Even now, the doctor said to continue taking it. That's their issue. Naturally, right because I felt. That's going to be your issue. I felt great and I just like forgot. I just kept caring about my business. And um, yeah. So now I forever have this, I think. No, I don't. But I, I'm worried because I'll be. Well, chronic things can happen, man. You got to take care 20, of yourself. To a young buck, 25. Oh, for sure. That's hung as start. hell, dude. Two hung inches as hell, hard dude. as a sword, man. Two inches from the ground, baby. Dude, what you, I do is I use it as a lure and I get the groundhogs to come out and I eat them. Yeah, I wonder what the lore is of my dick, dude. Slang and brain since 95. You know what I mean? <laughs> the lore of your brain? No, my dick, dude. <laughs> okay, the lore of, Bri- of Brian's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's got such a fucking good dick. Brian's dick is fucking, it sucks, dude. But I, I want to uh, go back to the collar thing real quick, you guys, because we're fucking stoked on this thing, man. Yeah, it's time. We, um, um, it may be not time to have the collars now. It's not, it's not time. It's, it's not, not time, time now. You guys are going to enjoy it. I've yeah. vetted it a bunch of them because I'm sure there was going to be some crazies in there. So it'll, they'll never make it. So it's pointless for people to even send So you those. mean, you mean to tell me these aren't live callers? No, they're live callers, but I, I talked to them all individually. I like interviewed them. I was like, what's up? Okay. What's the deal? You going to say some shit? You going to say right. some shit or you going to say some shit, dude? You know right. what I mean? And so there's a difference. All- are they all like on the line right now on standby pretty much? Yeah, I have another Discord chat with about 400 people, but they're mm-hmm. all active mics all at the same time. I'm just deafened and I have to, I go, who wants to join? And they all go, hey, hey, Misa de, Misa de, de la coma, me won't go home. And me won't go home. Misa de, Misa de, Misa de. Have you seen Beetlejuice? Don't fucking disrespect me like that, man, on this podcast. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Say that with a straight face, bitch. <laughs> Dude, I got a new tattoo. Oh, fuck, man. I want a tattoo so bad. Oh, what is it? It's toaster? A, it's a coffee cup. Coffee cup toaster? It's a coffee cup toaster. It just looks blurry right now because... I love the, it. All the plasma is like... I love it. You know, making it look all mm-hmm. funky, but... um. 
Dude, yeah. yes. Oh my God, where'd you get it done? At a Harley Davidson. Davidson. Harley's David's Harley and David's son did it. Oh really? Um, I thought he was. I thought he was. Um, deaf, dumb, and dead. Deaf, dumb, deaf, and not dumb, a down to his name. Um, yeah. yeah, it was a Harley Davidson place, and uh, I got there. That's so funny, like a fucking biker bar. Yeah, and I had flashbacks to when I got my first. And I flashed tattoo. my tits for him. So I, I kind of just realized when I got the Sugar Pine Seven tattoo that the back tattoo that I have of Steve Ray Vaughan's guitar with flames going off of it with SRV underneath um, that I got when I was sixteen. At just some fucking illegal, just shitty. No, I've had my stepdad's permission without there you my go. legal, uh, right? And legal. um, I realized that it's a biker tattoo because I went to a biker shop in the middle of some small town, shitty ass, titty ass, nasty ass, cretin ass, shitty ass place, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, look at that's it. That's kind of cool though. No, especially I, it's your first tattoo. I think it's cool, but but I also don't want to have biker tattoos all over me. You know what I mean? Oh, that's not a biker tattoo that's a white power tattoo come on man what does it say <laughs> 10 years later <laughs> what does it say you've never oh, never seen fuck. it for 10 years well i can't you know what the fucking see thing? my back dude what about a mirror right. what about a picture I'm, I'm not a mirror i'm not a mirror man my, the my funniest mirror. thing about you right now is the fact that somehow your shirt is the same color as the wall dude you're in, you're in crack dude i'm just a floating head Dude, I love this shirt so much, by the way. It's great. Which make, brings me to, is this backwards for everybody? Nope. It's backwards for me. Okay. Huh. Um, yeah, dude, I was just going to say, because we've been getting uh, questions about merch, and James and I do have plans um, mm-hmm. to potentially do that. We've just got a lot of like our own life things that we're doing. Yeah. And then the podcast is very important to us, and we love it. But then we'll allocate, you know, like some time together to, to brainstorm what we're going to change yeah. or accomplish this week kind of mm-hmm. thing. But uh, we've been talking about merch for Slowly a little, but surely, for but a little like... Bit. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but we're excited about it. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to do a merch eventually. Yeah. So that's on the horizon. Can't tell you when. Can't tell you what it will be. Or when or it even will be. If it'll, or even if it'll happen. I'm not going to say um, not anything at this point, I think. Yeah. I'm not even going to say anything either. I think we should make a date. You want to go on a date? Honestly, if you're going to pay for it. Dude, have you seen that Kyle Mooney sketch where he's like pretending he's sad and everything and then the guy's like, want me to take you to lunch, dude? He's like, you mean it? Yeah, I mean it. He's like, ah, you're going to take me out for breakfast or take me out for lunch. Yeah, I'm going to take me out for lunch. And he just keeps saying it. He's like, you know. You don't remember it? Is it on SNL or is it a It's his, his video. It's so fucking mm. funny, dude. He like I'll freaks the fuck out in it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I wish we could just watch things like it was a stream. Like we could just watch some video that no. we want to watch on a podcast. <laughs> Why that's new? Not as, that's not as... <laughs> we just watched like a fucking movie. No, it's not as fun on podcast because... No, it's not as fun on podcast. No, it's not because it's, it's audio sometimes listeners. sometimes just audio. That's wrong. Um, real quick, I wanted to tell you something that happened to me today. Nope. Um, okay. No, I would like to know. So if I took a shower this morning. What? And, yep, took a shower this morning. It was crazy. Get out of town. And this is what happened. About an hour later, and I want I want your honest, like, advice. Oh, for real? This. How it... do you think this happened? Okay, but the setup to this About seems... an hour later, I went to go pee, mm-hmm. and what happened was I whipped out my fucking dick, right, to oh, take a piss. Yuck. Okay. And, I mean, it was everywhere. My dick was everywhere. So I whip it out. Hey, Lauren. I whip it what's out. Up, what's and, up, Lauren? His dick was everywhere. Hey, Lauren. And Vinny's there, too. Hey, so I whip it out. And somehow there are like seven Warts. hairs from my head. Stop, bro. From my head wrapped around my fucking dick. And I, I'm like here's pulling, the thing. Them, I know pulling them off and I'm fucking untangling them. Dude, they were like, tied into bows too. They were tied in each one tied into a really pretty bow. But this is the God's honest truth. And I want your advice here. Let's let's break this down, the physics of it. Well, I already know exactly seven, why. Seven hairs from my head ended up wrapped around my dick. Okay. Because I didn't put them there. Okay. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I'll tell you this. Are you sure they were your what? hair? Tell me. Are you sure it was your hair? It wasn't blonde hair? Positive. I got them tested. It, it, it wasn't, it wasn't long hair. hair. It wasn't blonde and hair. And it wasn't blonde. Was it short blonde hairs? It's Vinny's hair. <laughs> I got like seven, seven my, to seven hundred. My initial instinct is like that happens when you're having intercourse. Sometimes you wind up an hour later and look at your dick and see. Oh, come here, babe. Come here, babe. Give me fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> come here. No, no, no. Try to run away. No. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Dude, um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not. Some people went, what do you mean that happens? I'm saying, it can, hair gets places sometimes. Some people, no one said anything. <laughs> well, I imagine, and man. Some, and some people are, and I just heard someone say um, a lot of things. There's a lot of voices going one of the, on. One of the callers in the Discord chat really just called me out on that. <laughs> okay. When's the last time you showered? Um, and be honest, it's fine. A, a sometimes couple, we like, take four-day breaks. What day is it today? Oh yeah, I mean it's COVID, dude. There's That's been COVID, times dude. like where I don't fucking shower for a, a week. There's times I don't um, wipe for a month. Probably Saturday. So Saturday, and then I shower today on Tuesday. So that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Did you have a vigorous shower on Sunday where you maybe you're naked, you're shaking your fucking dick around, you don't even mean to be, and you're shaking your hair around and you're drying your hair, and then the hairs are falling down. I'm dropping down. my hair, and it's it's. But how are they getting caught and wrapped around you're hard. my dick? Because you're hard. <laughs> Because I'm hard. Because <laughs> well, you're hard. Because you got hard from the shower. Yeah, you started drying yourself off when it felt kind of nice, dude. Um, how they get wrapped? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break it down. Um, maybe it was when I was drying my head with my, with my towel, and then I dry I my it, dick, I and then the hair was, is wrapped around the dick like this. I think maybe when you were sucking your own dick, you know what I mean. Some of the hair was long enough and it was over your mouth and so you're doing and tongue so, things man with your right you know what i mean and it's so kind of like, tying, it's like tying a, ch- a cherry stem with your tongue exactly but i accidentally diddly did that we accidentally <laughs> diddly did that with yeah your dick. you done diddly did that on your dick um mm. i don't know are you sure what do you guys I'm, think leave, leave it in the comments <laughs> below how did uh, i get my my hair wrapped around my dick right why is there a fucking gardener Oh, uh, wake up. Every fucking time. We got we got to not shoot this on Tuesdays. <laughs> I think Tuesdays. <laughs> it's a great but it's day. not even my house. It's a gardener like next door or something. But why does it sound like he's in my backyard? Tell me that. Mm, maybe Let's he's talk about time, that. Maybe he's a time traveler. Or he's just a you guy. Hear? Only when you talk. Can you, you can only hear it when I talk. Oh, yeah, but, the, but your audio can hear it probably. But I can't because of the gate. <coughs> so we're chilling. Mm, okay, well, we're good. <coughs> Um, <sighs> bro, but, so, but yeah, so maybe maybe we can pick that up next week and kind of yeah, it was a, week to think you know, about it. P- pick it, pick it apart a little bit, really yeah. dissect. I'll, it. I really want to get everybody's advice on that because um, well, I think if we just open it up like a frog, like you do as a child, where you dissect a frog, you get its mouth out in the forest, oh, they meant like you grab it by the mouth and you just go. And you, no, I'm just saying, as one does as a child by yourself in the forest, you open up a frog. Well, you do, and you see what's inside. What you do is you take the frog, you grab its mouth, you open its mouth, and you just go. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Dude, hello! <laughs> and then the tongue just goes <gasps> into your mouth and grabs your uvula, your gugula. Dude, speaking of grabbing things, um, I just watched a documentary. Trump's being night. impeached. Couldn't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> 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 that was the most genuine reaction. Uh, but speaking of grabbing things like uvulas and dirty old things like that, um, I just watched... My teacher, the octopus. My octopus, the teacher. It's one of those. It's a documentary on Netflix. Fucking watch it, dude. It's unbelievable. It's about this guy who... What's it about? It's about this guy who goes out and... Well, it's more about the octopus than it is the guy. But it's kind of about the relationship. He finds an octopus out in the wild ocean and it's this beautiful out in the, out in the forest there's it he refers to it as the forest literally it looks at this this crystal clear area where it's all f- like muggy and hard to see around this like kelp forest but because of how many like kelp trees there are it's all crystal clear in this like 200 meter radius mm. and he's in there and he goes diving in there and he sees this octopus and it's like terrified of him obviously and then he left. He's, he just thought there was something. And that's the end of the story. He, saw the, he, <laughs> and he just it ended the movie there, and I don't know what happens. <laughs> but he goes back every day. He's like, I wonder what happens if I go back every single day and I try to like familiarize me to this creature. And he goes yeah. back and he eventually becomes friends with it. And like it, at one point, after like a week of seeing him every day, like reaches out its tentacle to touch his hand. And then, wow. like, it, it, it just it develops. I don't even want to spoil too much of it. It develops and develops and develops. And Is it on Netflix? It's on Netflix. It's Netflix? incredible. Netflix? I'm watching it again today. It's so fucking good on Netflix. Dude. That's amazing. I'm so down. Yeah, it's on Netflix. It's on porn Netflix. And it's so good, dude. It's so fucking good. And you see the relationship develop, and you see it, it have encounters with sharks and shit. And, like, these octopus, it's just a, it's a, a octopus vulgaris, which is a... Uh, uh, common it is it's octopus vulgaris and it's, it's a vulva vulgaris it's a vul it's a, a volkswagen car in the ocean it looks like an octopus and this guy's on acid but he's driving it around dude he's fucking driving but it she's around. driving it around <laughs> it's just so dude, good you gotta watch it man that's so sick i love it i'm gonna check it out um, it's incredible it's shot because octopus 
are like extremely smart. Yes, this is not like, like dog or cat smart, like or or yeah, lower or level maybe primate. even smarter. Yes, no, yeah. yeah, maybe even smarter than a dog because like they. Dude, they're like aliens too. Have you ever seen yeah. their skin up close? Yes, the documentary showed it all. Really? Yeah, everything. Yeah, you mean everything, it? everything that you could possibly <laughs> ask is is in that. It's so it's crazy because like, um, like their skin up close, like you can see it, like the camouflage, like coming in and out and shit. Yeah, and it, it dude, it looks like fucking. It's alien like shit. it's like billions of pixels, like a television yeah, that can exactly. change. And dude, they have two thousand um, suckers. What are the fuck they're called, mm-hmm. man? And they control them independently. Each one. Suctions. It's like having, like they move them and they taste with them and feel with them. And two thirds of their like cognitive function, I think it is, is in their body, not it's their nuts. mind. It's crazy. And imagine having fucking 2000 fucking limbs or fingers or some shit. Like yeah. crazy. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. Thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring this episode of Beyond the Pine. We appreciate you. We love you. At a time like now, I love when people bring me bring me my things. Bring it to me. You know what I mean? DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering's easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want it, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, Canada, and now Australia, you can support your local neighborhood go-tos or your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, love it, and Cheesecake Factory. God, I love the Cheesecake Factory. Listen, for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more. When you download the DoorDash app, enter code PINE2021. For our Australian listeners, you guys are going to use code PINEAUS. You see what I'm saying? Did we differentiate the two? I think so. 25% off a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code PINE2021 in the US and PINE AUS in Australia. Don't forget, that's code PINE2021 or PINE AUS for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Listen, subject to change, terms apply. Everybody knows that. Everyone's been talking about it. Thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring the episode. God, we love you. Like, it's just the best. Use the code. You guys, you save money. You know what I mean? Free delivery. It's just the best. They bring it to you. Contactless delivery. I love you. Thank you for supporting. Support us by using this and support yourselves. Now let's all use DoorDash. See, like I can barely fucking, when I'm grabbing things, man, sometimes I'm like, oh, I have a thumb. Yeah, like you got your finger caught in the yeah. cord. I'll be reaching down to wipe and one, goes, one slips in. You know what I mean? Yes. But um, just oh. watch it. Huge recommendation. Watch it. Um, Guaranteed. Yep. It's unbelievable. Um, and I know that I've d- we're now dove into the depth, the deep sea of Kibbs watched two movies high last night. He wasn't high, but you know what I mean? My, my segment I do, but I also watch Breakfast Club again for yeah, the well, second well, or third time. It's actually my segment. Well, um, it's been <sighs> reverse engineered, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Let me know. I just wish you'd let me know because then I wouldn't have prepared so much. Okay. Show I your notes. 10 movies. 10 movies since last pod? No, maybe. No. I don't know. Three movies. But there are three that I watched that I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did I talk about Den of Thieves last time? No. I don't remember. I either. just had a I'll just I don't briefly remember. talk about it. Okay. Den of Thieves. Really cool, like gritty, long crime movie, like a heist hmm. thriller. I think you'd like it. It's really cool. Um, it just, I mean, it's a little derivative of like heat. And other like heist movies. Have you seen Heat? Mm, yeah, heist is a fuck. Heist. Heat, heat is a fucking masterpiece, dude. Yeah. Um, but it's really good. It's got um, Jonathan Day Lewis, Gerard Butler is in it. Cool. Um, Love Gerard Butler. What's what his name? The guy Ice Cube's son who plays Ice Cube in Straight Outta Compton is in cool. it. Cool. Um, He's great. It's just a really good. Oh, fucking Fifty Cents in it. Mm. He's okay. He's yeah, he really is actor. only okay. <laughs> he's he's not the best actor. He just gets um, to be in whatever sometimes. He just gets to be in movies and have fun in movies. Hey, um, but it's cool. Cent. It's just like long and it's it's got like kind of a complex like crime yeah. thriller story where there's like a lot going on and there's mm-hmm. twists and turns. It's cool. I think you'd like it. But it's like long. It's like two and a half hours. Dude, I love um, long movies. I, me too. Especially I if I enjoy it. Movies. I'm like, let's go for six hours. If I'm like, this movie's incredible. Let's keep going. 
That's what I want. And then, I, and then afterwards, I'm like, I wish there was a part two sometimes. When they yeah. kind of leave it open-ended, when they made the movie, because they're like, this is going to be a great movie, and we'll see what happens. Maybe we make a second one. Maybe we don't. They usually end up not Yeah. when they should. And then yeah. they, they usually do it when they shouldn't. Or it's mm-hmm. just a result. And, and you know, maybe the first one of every you know, part two bad movie sequence is usually good. And we just didn't like the, se- the sequel. Wow. And, and, and why did we land on the moon first over the fucking... Why or over, if? If we land on the moon, I think it should be made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> if we did, I want it to be made of cheese. If we didn't, then that's not for me to <gasps> the, discuss. It's not a, it's, it's only, that's a for God to, to determine, not me. <laughs> that's, a, that's for a God to determine. <laughs> that's only Thor can do, could really kind of shed some light on that kind of situation brother <laughs> i also watched killer joe mm. which was crazy uh it's like another crime thriller movie um matthew mcconaughey plays oh. like a cop slash hitman dude oh. he's crazy in it yeah. like this movie is like really fucking gritty and like grungy and and borderline hard to watch sometimes because it's just like like a bone tomahawk it's just bad. gross like it's just kind of gross it's not like super graphic it's yeah. just like really like hard to watch What's the word? It starts with the D. De- um, demons. Demonic? No. Um, it's like very just like delusional. Just very deplorable people, mm, and the characters deplorable. are just like, ugh, like bad people. Yeah. It's just really grungy and shit. It's fucking crazy though. Um, like he, he goes full fucking psycho in it, which is weird to see from Matthew McConaughey. Um, I do, like I you'll do love you'll be that. like shit. Like I hate him. Yeah, he's violent and evil. But I, but I do love but, that. But I do love him. All right, all right, all right, all right. I drive my car fast, man. All right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? That's as close as I can get. Not my. You know best. what I mean? That's from the Lincoln commercial. You know what I mean? So I watched Killer Joe. I Killer recommend Joe. it. Yeah, I recommend Den of Thieves. Den of Thieves. Um, last night I watched Face Off, dude. Have you ever seen Face Off? Is that a hockey game or a hockey movie? Nope. Okay, that's hilarious. That's, that's where that's my brain goes. For a hockey movie. It should be, right? Face, Face off. off. I'm going to play hockey. Nope. Is he going <laughs> to? Dad! <laughs> he turns into a Face superhero. Off, dude. The classic legendary, I believe it's 1997 film starring Nicolas Cage and John oh. Travolta. Where Nicolas, or John Travolta is a fucking FBI agent who is trying to catch this a terrorist who's played by Nicolas Cage and they have this crazy show showdown and then they think that Nicolas Cage is killed but he's really alive in a coma and so they oh, use this they literally put Nicolas Cage's face on John Travolta and put um, John Travolta's face on Nicolas Cage and they play each other Jesus Christ and it's the most 90s like action movie ever and dude I was watching the scenes and it was like none of it was logical like mm. they were going to um the bad guys were all in like this hideout, like mansion or fucking penthouse or something. Mm-hmm. And the FBI surrounded them mm-hmm. and were like across the alley, like on another building. And like, you would think that any fucking FBI like team that's going to like seize or fucking do a raid, they're going to do it very tactically where yeah. they like go in as a team and like, or randomly as well. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very randomly. They'll pick straws. Whoever gets the shortest straw has to I go think, in. Yeah, first, first. They straight. were standing on the other, on the house next door, mm-hmm. just firing into the windows. Like Dude, from, that's, uh, that's so 90s. That's that, so 90s. That makes me want to like, watch. Everyone was just like, <laughs> dude, I love those real. And this guy, the one FBI guy drops <laughs> down from the fucking roof on a yeah. rope and he like fucking re- repels down and the bad guy just stands up with a shotgun and shoots him and he's like, Kush! and then you're just hanging from the rope. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, none of this would happen. It's Bro. so illogical. Dude. It's hilarious. Some of those guy comes in, one of the FBI agents yeah. comes in with a fucking grenade launcher and just starts shooting a grenade launcher around the house, like blowing shit up. I'll like, be back. Not- I'll be Dude, back. Noise. He Foom. just keeps saying it. I'll be back. Foom. You're not holding a gun. I'll be back. Dude, that makes me want to watch like the, is it like 80s? The 80s cop, buddy cop movies, like the Eddie Murphy cop movie. Oh yeah, like- um, What's that one where he's, um, in, he's in prison in the beginning and he's singing, uh, okay, what's that fucking sound? No, you don't have to sell your money. Run! 
Roxanne. That's what it is. Roxanne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I He's singing remember. Roxanne in the beginning. Dude, that movie is so good. And I don't remember like Lethal Weapon. Is. Dude, I've never seen the Lethal Weapon movies. You ever seen Rush Hour? Yeah, yeah. That's not 80s. That's like early 2000s. I know, but I want watch to Rush Hour now. But I want watch watch Rush Hour. Now. I want watch to Rush Hour now, dude. I love Rush Hour so much. It's yeah, so dude. Good. Rush Hour is fucking great. Man. All of them are so good. Are we allowed to like Rush Hour? Are we gonna get punched in the face by the long dick of, of what's socially acceptable? Is that not okay? Probably not. I'm sure of it. I mean, we also didn't. <laughs> I'm sure that that's not okay. I'm well, we sure talked about Tropic it. Thunder yesterday. I know. yesterday. <laughs> Dude, that was a good day yesterday. Um, I mean, I don't know enough. I don't remember enough about uh, Rush Hour to make an argument one way or another. I just feel like because of the time it was made and the cultures that are so heavily in the the movies and that it was a comedy, that there's no way they didn't Joke step on things. some shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's no way. Is it Chris Tucker? Chris Isn't Tucker it? and Jackie Chan. Well, I'll There's put it this no way. way Chris Tucker didn't do some impressions he shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> expand everywhere. Like, I'll put it this way. If oh, God, the movie was probably everywhere. directed by a white guy and probably oh. written by a white guy. God so there it. were jokes in there that were playing with stereotypes for sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So we'll just leave it at that and leave it up for you to decide. <laughs> You decide. Do you can, think I, I wrap my hair, my hair around my dick, my hot <laughs> dick in my head? Do you think you wrap his hot dog dick around your head or what? <laughs> <laughs> hot dog dick, dude. dude. I saw this funny TikTok. Um, no. Where this, <laughs> here he goes again. He loves, dude, this, James, you're so late to the TikTok train. Dude, it's so good. Well, I was actually watching it on Instagram Reels. Didn't I don't even, even have the TikTok day app. The promise that you Have you seen the me. ones where they like... They're like walking and then they trip and they fall and it lands on a guitar and it shows like their dick falls out of their pants no. and it starts strumming. It's like the Hey, hey They're Delighted. Din, 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 no, din, but that din, sounds din, din. funny. It's dude. so funny. There was one where like the guy fell and then landed and a hot dog came out of his pants and started strumming and then his dog came in and just like ate the hot dog. <laughs> Uh, anyways, he had to be there. It's me and Vinny. Dude, that is a bummer and the hot dog was only your dick. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. And I think that would it would be funny. And I, I had my enjoyment on TikTok, and now I just don't have time to sit there and scroll for two hours because that's what yeah. happens, man. It's dangerous. I had to delete it off my phone because I was just, I'd scroll, scroll, scroll. Ooh, a science video. Scroll, scroll, scroll. And I would just sit there feeling like I've Looking for all the science videos because Kib loves science, man. I do love science, man. And don't doubt that for a second. I don't. I know I'm watching it. I know this fucking fact. whale doc for fucking the second time, man. Yeah. In a row. That's got to mean something. What are you looking at, man? What the fuck are you looking at? Look over at there? you. Oh, I'm over there. Yeah, you're over there for me. Okay. Well, what if Meanwhile, I move? You're, you're you're like this. <laughs> James, are you with me still? What else did I fucking watch, man? Oh yeah, I just watched the Breakfast Club again for like the third I time love the in Breakfast my life. Club. It's great, dude. God, what a fantastic movie. And it's just uh, like all around so well written, so yeah. well directed, so mm -hmm. well acted. And it's got fucking Don't You Forget About Me as the Don't theme song. you. I love that fucking song. Forget dude. about me. Oh. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 do. You know, sometimes you just got to take liberties with a song. Yeah, you really yeah. like it. Characteristic liberties. Yeah. Chris Evans wouldn't, he'd never do that. You know what I watched recently just for fun? I think I watched it on stream, but the uh, that hot sauce video, and it just got me thinking about how much I, I hate it. Oh, it's because I was getting tacos, and I, I tried this extremely hot sauce, and mm. it was brutal, and it totally brought me back to when we tried all those crazy... We went up to six million Scovilles. Oh, Scovilles. you mean our video? The one we were on Couch With Couch Hop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched it, and I was like, I'll never do that again. <laughs> Who did that? Was that me or you? That was me. <laughs> was that me or you? Um, Dude, I just would I could never eat hot shit like that again. That's but I, okay. I, but the thing is, I will do it because I, I don't remember just how bad it was because I threw up after that video, right? Really? In that the bathroom. You were out. there. Yeah, I was there. And you said, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ate like, you just Come had on, ice cream and you were just like, oh yeah, on the ground. <laughs> because the only... <laughs> Come on, it didn't look like that, dude. Yes, the it only did. time, yes, it did. The only time that it wouldn't burn like nothing I've ever experienced is when you had ice world. cream in your is mouth. When there the was, second you swallowed it, the moment it was not on my it was tongue, gone. it was 
uh, the worst experience. And yeah. I, I will do it again. Sean Evans, do you want to have us on? Shout out to your podcast. <laughs> Shout out to your podcast. Dude, I want to have fucking Charlie Day on this podcast, dude. Oh, my God. One you know day. what I mean? One, One day. day. I think so. I think it's One possible. Charlie Day. And he'd be like, I don't want to have us at all. You know what I mean? He would That's just do exactly that. what he'd be like, dude. And we'd be like, do it again. Do it again. I, I've been watching uh, It's Always Sunny again recently. Oh, yeah, dude. And it's just- Well, a- now they took the office off of Netflix, so I either go to sleep with How I Met Your Mother or- I, I was always sunny. How about your mother? I think <laughs> doesn't compare to like. No, it doesn't compare. Sunny. But for me, it's a nostalgic show because Lauren and I watched that whole show freshman year of college yeah. together, and so it's like nostalgic feels like it's very familiar and comfortable. But mm-hmm. it's like it's nowhere near The Office or Always Sunny. Mm-hmm. But you can't really get to those levels with a sitcom like that. Like totally. A yeah. Three camera set sitcom like that. You know, like mm-hmm. y- you need more freedom. And like with always, sunny, I mean, some some have like Seinfeld did, true, in, in, in a different way. And Friends, yes, sort of. I mean, Friends is like but the, it's exactly the lukewarm it's a version of Seinfeld. You know, yeah. I mean, I actually never really watched Seinfeld, so I don't know. Do they do they go like really? Oh risque, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a hundred percent. Like way more than like Friends. Yeah, they coined the term. Um, it, it, because they keep my fucking whole, sucking ass, bitch. Keep my fucking sucking <laughs> ass, bitch. I mean, there was this episode back when like you know homophobia was like really big and there wasn't running like rampant a ton of representation in, yeah. in media not being shitty you know and they did this episode that made fun of it in a very self-aware way where they were like they coined the term not that it's a bad thing not that i care about that because be like i'm not gay not that it not that that's a bad thing i have friends mm-hmm. who are gay it's all good Be- but in that context he was trying to attract this woman and his, one of the other cast was saying that he was gay or something like that. Or maybe, I don't know if that was exactly what happened, but he was just trying to convince this woman that he was interested in that he wasn't gay because he wanted her to want to have sex with him, not because yeah. being gay was a bad thing. And they coined the term, right. not that it's a bad thing or not that it's, yeah, you know what I mean? Whatever it was. And they won an award by like the, I don't remember what it was. So a, a community or, maybe that sounds right. It was like a gay bisexual thing or I don't know the, the, what they're, called but it was something big a gay bisexual thing yeah and more than that i just stopped after that it's a tessetra after that and uh they yeah they won an award because they they, like it finally gave people like a voice not finally like it was it was just good that they did that and it was like yeah it's probably the first time that was done on network television yeah something like that but um yeah they 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 pushed the boundaries and it was it was cool like uh, i watched a bunch of it and um I want to like rewatch it all now with the lens of, of comedy from everything that like we've watched and, and enjoyed as, yeah. you know, uh, self-proclaimed comedians, you know, <clears throat> I did stand up about eight times. That is actually crazy. Yeah. And you did not bomb ever, <clears throat> ever. Excuse the me. last time I did bomb, the bomb? last time I did comedy, I bombed. Oh, is that why you haven't done like, it again? No, it was literally Be honest. Right COVID. Um, no, I didn't, I don't let like or at least I try not to let like a uh, perceived failure stop me from trying something again. Mm. Um, I didn't feel bad, but it was funny. But the reason was it was, I think early February of last year. So about a year ago, that's fucking nuts. Mm. And it was right before COVID like got big. Like it was, got popular. It was in the news yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Before they blew up. Um, <laughs> before COVID <laughs> totally just stormed the fucking scene. And I had a lot of jokes about COVID. Mm-hmm. And did you really? I did. Dude, you were and ahead of the game, bro. Like it wasn't then, funny, like, but it it would just wasn't like going over that well. Um, yeah. And then I went I went back to the green room after, it and TK came back there, and he was like, "Hey, listen, man, it's all good." Like, um, did you know you bombed before he said that? Or did yeah, you, I went back did there realize? and to like the other comedians, and I was just like, "Fuck!" And they were like, "It's all good, man. Like, don't don't sweat it and shit like that." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I love other comedians, especially when you're doing stand up and you're like there with them, like because they've all so fucking fuck supportive as well. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I went back there, and TK came back, and he was like. Hey man, like it's all good. Like I think it's because of the COVID joke. You know, people are scared of that shit, and, hmm. and you know, and that's I was way like, over analyzing. I think that's just. I don't know if. Oh, you just think I wasn't funny? Possibly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll I mean, pull it I, up right now. I, I don't know. I mean, you're you're in the beginning stage. You think you're fucking killing it? At your first killing eight it, times dude. doing stand up. There's no way. Killing you, it. I never saw you bomb. I saw you, and I thought you were funny, and I thought like for someone first doing it, like they couldn't get any better for someone first doing it. You know what I mean? But I like got an A. just not, I got an <laughs> A. Oh yeah, well not I got my an project, A, dude. Okay. Oh, you didn't think I was better than the best beginners? I got an I A. It. 
I, I aced, aced it, that dude. shit. Straight no, A's. but I, I think it just like maybe it just wasn't you worked don't need out to yet. You don't need to. You can handle it, man. You're strong. You're a strong guy. I can handle it. Go ahead. You can, you can handle it. Maybe it just wasn't worked out yet. How many times have you done the COVID jokes? Twice? First time. First time. No, so I know, dude. I'm attitude. joking. Yeah, <laughs> no, 100%. It was yeah, yeah. like... It wasn't flushed out It yet. was my first time doing it. It wasn't yeah. flushed out. And it was also because COVID was... It might even have been the first week of March. Right. Which is like March, I think, 14th or 15th last year is when lockdown started. Yeah. So it might have been like a couple of weeks before shit got real. So there were already cases in America. It was already shit going around. So people, people were, were like scared The way it was shit. told was just so not how it actually happened either. I remember seeing it on TV. They said, you know, a flock of bats stormed California. Stormed the Capitol. They were they stormed the Capitol. They were because just, of Trump's they were mating in the Lex, air. Lex and then the everyone election. went, what? And then they all kind of like came made came. cake in their mouth. <laughs> and they all like it came. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross um, dude. But like <laughs> I consider it I that I, I considered it it nailed it that time you considered it that i didn't nailed it yeah i considered it i nailed it <laughs> mm-hmm. um until tk was like bro bummer yeah no you knew that it wasn't great and you got no, off the stage I and knew, were like i knew it i go as i was up there i was like in my head i was like okay this is what it feels like because up yeah. until that point i didn't perceive any of my um routines as bombs some yeah. went better than others but yeah. i always had a good time and a good feeling coming off the stage you but knew you did a good job like, and it was just whether or not the joke was actually as flushed out as you thought it was or not you know yeah. what i mean and then also and i'm i don't practice audience. things as much as i need to dude i'm yeah. not good at Me neither, revising dude. or editing or practicing things to mm-hmm. nail it and that's like the number one thing with stand-up comedy is yeah. you practice those jokes inside and out so you know where to potentially improvise or yeah. how to like you know, if if you get off the path of your joke, then it's easy to get back on and shit like that. That's but why I'm it, not good at that. That's one of my main things I'm working on just in life. Like practice. doing something, whether it's like a cut of an edit, yeah. like, you know, you do the first cut and then going back, ha- like don't do your first cut, like th- when it's due mm. or whatever, like do your first cut and then go back and revise it. We well, you know what they shit. say, practice makes perverts. Traffic and, makes perfect. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do, dude. You just got to practice, practice, practice. But yeah. <laughs> something that I, I have always envied about um, the, this romanticized idea of doing comedy that I've always wanted to do is that the, there are so many cool comedians that are laughing at the jokes that they tell every night. And there's no way that they're actually laughing at these completely rehearsed jokes. Obviously, the improv moments. I'll tell like, you who actually, lead, who actually is laughing yeah, at yeah, yeah. them. Who is? Mike Falzone. Yeah, yeah hundred percent. Because think Mike be a is such a genuinely like he's such a genuine person, mm-hmm. and his laugh is like so genuine and and natural. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that, the amount that he laughs and the way that he laughs, that he'll like tell a joke and. But I think it's maybe also like anticipating the reaction that he's about to get. You know, yeah, it's like I think so. And he's such a vet. When it comes oh, to yeah. comedy, that like he knows how to fucking control a room and like just his presence, like on a stage. He's so good. I've done, if he just sta- continues, I've done stand up with him. Yeah. Like on stage, where like he did his routine right there. And like I killed it. And James <laughs> killed it, dude. James was watching him going, I could do that, I could do that better. You would do that. He that. would do the joke, and then James would be like, What's this? Pa. Killed that. Killed it. I killed, killed that. that. <laughs> you just do his routine by yourself backstage. Dude, yeah. Hey, man. Well, you know what time it is. I think I it's time it. for us to have a caller. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first caller here. This is Marley. Hi, Marley. Okay. Hey, what's up, Kim and James? I'm Marley, and I'm wondering if you could tell us about one of the most chaotic times um, when you were all filming for SP7. Uh, just one of the most ridiculous times you all had together. Um, yeah, mm. thanks. I love you all. Hey, Kib. Hey, Kib. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Kib. Thank you uh, so Marley. much, Marley. Thank you, Marley. Thank you, Marley. Next caller. Um, Next caller, too. <laughs> we you just listen to them? That was very Go sweet. Go ahead. Give, give me your answer. Um, I need like a second um, okay. to thank I you, though, if you got one. I will give you mine in a second. Okay. Do um, you want me to say mine? Do you have did, you, did Marley say um, in an SP7 video or just in general us filming? Us filming. It, oh, I don't think I it would, has to be an SP7 video. Um, I think the most chaotic. Did Marley for me, say that we had to answer? Did Marley ask a question? <laughs> 
Hey Marley, this is Kib here. Uh, my answer to you would be probably the woods because that was an absolute shit show in the best way. It was just like very exciting and a lot going on and we all felt good, but it was crazy and long hours. Um, also, maybe the woods. Anything where there was a lot of people, or not the woods, sorry. Dude, I talked about the woods and we That both, wasn't a bit. I meant to say Sugar Pine 7. That's so uh, funny, And also dude. maybe the woods. Um, it's the Sugar Pine 7 video, because when <laughs> there's a lot of people and, yeah. and everyone's high energy, and especially during the season one, season two era mm -hmm. where everyone like- Where we didn't know like what we were going to do. We didn't know exactly. how we were going to bet. It was literally just like each of us had in our own head such like incredible- Incredible. I'm not going to give put that title on. Say us. it about me. But we each had so much like just incredible. freedom and improv, incredible oh. amounts of skill inside of us, where even we didn't know and were so surprised at what the other person was doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what I was going to say about that too is like during the season one, season two era, and I think I had mentioned it to like Steve and James before too. I was like, it's so cool because we're all we're all same thing. I, I, everyone here is really talented. And because there's not this defined script or like, you're going to say this, then you're going to do this. It's like, here's what's happening in this world, in this scene, and then roll with it, gang. Um, yeah. There was this fun thing of like, realizing that there was this healthy competition in a sense. It was like an SNL sketch where like, everyone's trying to be the funniest, not in a, I'm going to be the funniest, fuck you, but like provide the funniest thing that's in them at whatever moment they can. Um, and everyone just loved that. If like whatever was funny, everyone's laughing at everything that's funny. But like, I know in me, I was just like, I know I want to be, say the funniest possible thing that I can say in this moment. Um, and it was like this, competition is a weird word to use, but it felt like there yeah, was something no, that think, pushed that, that made made you feel like you say, you got to do the funniest thing you yeah, can possibly do, mm -hmm. you know? And I loved that. It was so fun. And it created it like good pressure. Everybody I think felt like that too. Cause like, there was just this energy of like everyone on their fucking a game. And I loved that. It was so fun. Everyone so that's mine. On their a game. What about yours, James? Mine. Um, <laughs> bless Hello, you James. Mine. I'm trying to think of like a deep cut. Um, hmm. I was thinking just the first two that popped in my head for whatever reason, one was the video where we had like, we were in the Culver City office and we had um, the manners teacher come in and like teach us all manners. That was very and chaotic. <laughs> it was so chaotic because we were doing this thing where we were like all, and again, it was something that just happened mm -hmm. because like, I feel like in the later days, like we were so like all over the place and mm -hmm. like, our minds were just like frazzled because we were doing so much and we had to make so many videos and shit. Mm -hmm. Like there was this part where we were like pushing her out the door and like screaming at her to get out. But then like one person was doing that and then everybody joined in doing that. Yeah. And it was just like the crowd effect. And then yeah. that just kept happening. Like first we pushed her out. I think it was, um, who played her? Oh, was oh, it oh. Gus's girlfriend? Yes, it was. It was Gus's yeah. girlfriend. Sabrina. Sabrina. Um, We pushed out Sabrina and then and then we pushed out Jamie too. Oh like yeah, after, yeah, yeah. And like that was fun. Um, but then another one is another like deep cut season four video when we went over to Gus Johnson's apartment and we like did that. Oh, that was chaotic too. Dude, yeah. that was so funny because like nobody had any idea what was going on, and Steve damn near painted his whole face black. Yes, he did, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, Steve almost did blackface. That's crazy. Where was our fucking like? Where was our sense? Where was our yeah? But our then you did the that. funniest thing. One of the funniest things that you've ever done, because you're our camera op for the video. Right, and right, And you were right, like, right. during this thing, we were like trying to get like a steady shot. And you were like, okay, I'm going to do like a smooth push. And then you were like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubbling and then, but you were also like pulling your pants down pants as you did off, it. Yeah. Like I'm hot. That was funny, like He's man. really I'm hot and super. I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch that too. I'm going to watch that with you first. after this podcast, dude. Just a couple of boys watching Let's do the video. It. I'm down. Let's fucking do mm -hmm. it, man. Marley, thank you so much for that call. Marley, thank you for the question. Um, that was very sweet. <laughs> that was very sweet. Thank you so That's much. Um, first ever caller. Um, yeah. First of a million. That's our goal. We've got a million calls for this podcast. Yeah. Let's take another one. Let's say hi to whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> A-Cube. A-Cube's friend. Uh, I saw your Instagram story wow. of you asking for people to send in audio clips of them just telling a story or maybe asking a question. Great voice. And I'd like to ask both of you a question. And that is, uh, Steve has mentioned on Twitch that uh, he would be interested in doing 
more Sugar Pine 7 styled content mm-hmm. uh, in the future. And I was wondering, if he does end up doing that, would either of you be interested in uh, being involved in that in some way or another? Thank you. Thank you so much, my guy, whatever your name is. Um, Thank you for that. What do you think, Just friend? a little, Just a little um, advice for the next time you... you to me or... Um, for our, our friend, yeah. the caller. Um, a little caller, bit of please, advice for the next please time. Please listen to my friend's just advice. Go ahead and li- get, listen to this right now. Just when you have something to say, just say it. Don't take it so long to say it. I thought it was really funny, dude. I thought it was really funny. He obviously was joking. Oh, you love him because he knows your name. He knows your name too, man. He's trying to piss you off and he's winning. He's looking at he's you, man. Winning. He, he's he's winning. Fucking winning. Not man. for long. <laughs> um, Answer the question, bitch. Answering. Did, did, does Steve want to do more SB7 content? I didn't know that I didn't either. Know that. <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, fucking sick. I think cool. we will know about it if if it's really going to be a thing and, and he wants us involved in it and stuff I think, like that. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe 100% that Steve wants to do that. Do I think he is currently taking any steps to think about it <laughs> no. or develop anything? No. Um, and that's just my opinion. I might be wrong. He might be over there right now putting together something. I doubt be sick. it. But like, and I'm sure you agree, I'd be fucking down, dude. Yeah, you know, oh yeah. Depending yeah. on what it is, I'm not really trying to, the reason why I don't make content on YouTube, like personally, is just because I'm pursuing more like traditional media mm-hmm. um, direction with my career. So I don't want to put effort into content creation. But that's not to say like ever, who knows? I just have just, that's where your efforts lie right now. That's in, where my efforts, my, my yeah. priorities are right now. And I'm, I'm like, I don't have any ideas for stuff anyways. Um, if yeah. I came up with an idea that I was like, oh, fuck, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I had an idea, actually. I don't know if I've ever talked about this. After Sugar Pine ended, I had an idea for my own like, kind of that. spinoff yeah, yeah. for SP7 that was going to be like from my perspective. Mm-hmm. And I had a dude, I wrote an entire first episode and it was sick. It was going to end with like me almost crashing my car mm-hmm. and, and it, then like cutting to black. And then I really crashed it. And then I really crashed it and I lost the footage. <laughs> <laughs> um and now i'm like well i don't know if i could do that because it's been so long after sp7 but who knows maybe no um, you could do it you could do it that's People crazy would watch it i haven't even I mean? thought there, about there, that there's a hunger it would just have to be enough it's, it, it would have good. to have enough of the elements from sugar pine 7 that people love for them to feel like oh there's a home for this again this thing yeah. that i love so much these very specific things that the reason we watch this over any other content would have to have some of those so they can feel at home and also provide something fresh to it which i think you're hey, more than wow. capable of doing dude that's crazy i'm gonna write that down so yeah. i remember i haven't thought about that in so long you know my friend did interrupt my answer and derail with a story Sorry about that but, um, Sorry about that buddy i'm no problem i'm no problems here i don't want any trouble um, I would have to say, yeah, absolutely. And, and similar, similar to James, um, my plate's very mm-hmm. full right now with kind of, uh, I've got an announcement on February 26th that I'll be probably announcing before then, I think. But, um, yeah, my, the past two years of what I've been doing musically is culminating to it all coming to uh, fruition now. So I've live, been, live ice show, live ice show. I'll be shaving ice, uh, into little balls and then you guys can take the balls and you, you throw them at each other. And I don't have any of the responsibility. You got to sign a waiver. Um, inside the waiver, there is a clause that I do uh, kind of collect your know, social security if you die. Now, let's take our next caller. Answer yes. Uh, I would I would be involved in it in one way or another, um, especially if I like the idea of it. Like if it was just, let's just continue Sugar Pine 7, I'd be like, I'll do it when I, when I have time. I would love to do it. Um, but that wouldn't pique my interest enough to be like, I want to be involved in this every day. Uh, and this make this like a part of my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I would be, be in cool. it whenever. <clears throat> yeah. Same, kind of same. I think it'd be really cool if it had a a different energy to it, you know, where it wasn't yeah. just a rehash and it was like a progression and a growth. Exactly. Kind of thing. And, yeah. and it was more like Steve's thing and, and we were part of it sometimes and like mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like I'd be super down, man. Yeah. I, I always want to work with you guys. Yeah, and me I know too. that we will work on and off forever until the day we die. A hundred percent. And James and I are working together on a on the music video. James asked me for my help and I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. coming to help him on the 13th, right? Mm-hmm. This weekend, baby. Yeah. Uh, I got to get a COVID video. test tomorrow so that I can fucking do it. I'll be very surprised if somehow. That's so COVID. funny. I was thinking about that. Like watch Kid be fucking positive again. Dude, I just really have COVID. Shoots. You know what? Actually, 
there was just something released, at least I just stumbled across this, that um, said like, scientists are starting to think that COVID will be around forever and how the world will uh, have to run in a world where it has COVID all the time forever. Like the cold, how you could catch a cold all year oh, round. Well, that's fine. The, the, the point of a vaccine is to reach a point where there's herd immunity and what a vaccine sure, does. Yeah. And please correct me if I'm wrong, because this is what I believe I and will. I think is right. And it makes total sense. I might be wording it wrong, but okay. the point of a vaccine is where an, it, it basically jump starts a herd immunity. So there are enough people that are immune or resistant to COVID so that it doesn't have as many hosts to jump around to. So it spreads more slowly, just the same way that there's a flu vaccine. The flu is always around. Every year there's a new type of flu, a new mutation of the rhinovirus. Right. But the, and the flu vaccine is always changing. But what happens is there's not enough, like with COVID, the reason why it spread so fast is because every single person was a host. And it was just like, bah, 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 to everyone. Um, so if there's less people that can get it, then it spreads a lot more slowly. So it's not, it doesn't take over. Wrong. I think it's for making Pokemon needles into our arm or feel pain. I think pain. it's make, for making for Pokemon. I think they're making for Pokemon. Trying to disturb the dead. But um, <laughs> what was the what was the what were we fucking talking about before that? Next caller. Next caller, dude. Hey, Sugar Pine. I want to ask, what's your favorite board or card game you've ever played? Gotcha. Wow. I love ever? this question. I love this question. Ever? Do you do you have an answer? I do have an answer. Hearthstone. It is, it began as a digital um, Blizzard created um, um, card game, but there's a physical version of it. And I think there has been for a long time. It might've been not digital first, actually. I'm not really sure where the origins are with that. But um, dude, I fucking love Hearthstone. It's great. I also loved Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I also loved Rat Trap, Mouse Trap. I also loved Rat Trap. I, I loved Hungry Hungry Hippos. Yeah. I also love Chess. <laughs> yeah chess is fucking great um i would say as far as like not thinking about like the repercussions the of saying ones, a bad word yeah not even worrying about that i would probably say and just because of the potential I, i've only played it a handful of times but uh, have you ever played settlers of Catan? no oh sounds, my god dude sounds spooky <laughs> it's so fun and it's like you you build your little land and you get like your resources like your you stone get? your wood your wheat and stuff oh, like that and you yeah. have to like um build your your walls or your tracks or something i even forget Ooh. how to play it but it's so fun and it's like a long oh. game like you get a good team of people and you play for like six hours isn't there one that's like civilization or maybe i'm just thinking of of uh, people using landscape computer game to play yeah but there was one i'm probably just thinking of dungeons and dragons where they oh, actually use they like these something. big mountains and trees and they actually move the characters around on the thing is that DD also probably no? not just yeah. the boards like it's a full landscape and i've, I've like yeah well, to a game that's store because you can do that maybe there's mm -hmm. other games that do that but i'm thinking of DD when you say that yeah like you can go crazy with DD and it's all up to your imagination like that's what I would want to do. But to be able to kind of limit your imagination and actually see a full landscape, there's a mountain, there's trees, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of only do things within the parameters of an actual world because it's kind of overwhelming and it's cool. And there's a lot of imagination involved in doing it just in your head. Like we've been doing mm -hmm. it, but I would like to be able to see some shit, man. My imagination plus actually having some physical yeah, things oh, to move around. Much better. Oh my God. It'd be like watching a movie. That's dude. why video games are so popular. <laughs> right. I like those. Because you can see it. I like those. Yee. Yeah, yay. Should we take another caller? Yeah. I'm in. Let's do it. Uh, g'day, boys. First time. Hey. First time call, long time listener here, Ryan. Ryan. And look, i got to ask, when are you boys going to be releasing more music? Because you make good stuff. Just need more of it, boys. Need more of it. Good, I might. James? How about you, baby? What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Um, I am not. I just started working on music again um, in the past couple of weeks after like a six month hiatus yep. of music. And um, I, I, I'm not really sure about releasing any. I'm just kind of like getting back into the groove of it and having fun with it. Um, and it's been a lot of fun and it feels really good to get back into that after not doing it for a long time. Um, so that. nothing, nothing 
super close over the horizon for me necessarily, but that might change tomorrow. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, um, there, on my stream, someone said that there's a song they want you to release that they think is your best song that you've played on stream a couple times. Oh, they must be talking about Untitled. Yes, Untitled. That was it. They said you should have you release ever, it. Have you ever heard that song? Probably. You've, I think you've shown me most of what you've been working on, but I'd love to hear it again. You should send yeah, it. Yeah, you want? Should I play it right now on stream? Yeah, play that shit, dude. Play that shit. Okay. Well, while I'm pulling it up, why don't you? Um, yeah, Talk I mean, for me, thing. it's like, yeah, February 26th is gonna, there's a, it's a, an announcement and a release of something. Um, uh, and it's literally like the biggest thing that I've been working on. And it's like the thing I want to do most in this world. And obviously it's music related. Um, and it's just like, it's everything. It means everything to me. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's a big life change and it's what I've been doing since Sugar Pine 7 ended. So it would mean the world to me if you guys, you know, followed this journey and, um, and, and supported it. And, and, you know, I'm excited to announce it when, uh, th th that time comes, could be the next couple of weeks, the announcement. So fucking be there, follow us on fucking social media. You know what I mean? At not Kib, at James DeAngelis with an R in James's name for some reason. I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's, that's what I've been up to. And yes, the answer is yes. And there's several, several things coming out. Several on several on several. James Dandless here to play Untitled. James, what do you have to say about the, uh, the pregnancy of Mother Mary? How'd that happen? What happened with that? What happened with that? Um, I need to find it still. I feel like we stopped talking about that at one point. People just went, eh, whatever. Anomalies happen. They don't, dude. Does that mean God fucks? The question, not a disrespectful huh? one. I mean, I say that like from a kid's perspective. You know what I mean? No. God doesn't okay. fuck. He just put it in there. He just kind put of it in like, there. and this is not disrespectful. Like this is. I know what you're thinking. I'm delivering this say. as a, in a bit, so yeah, it's I know you know fun to say. to say. But is it like the guy from Waco, Waco, the the show, how he has sex with them, but not because he wants to, because he has because to. he has to. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know if I can speak on that. Okay, the big um, man might have to. I fuck. There he is. He spoke, dude. He spoke. I'm sorry, James. I just made James really uncomfortable, you guys. And I, you No, know, I'm just trying to... He's, find he's busy. James is busy, dude. Just type in Untitled, man. I did. Oh, sure. Sure you did. Please. Um, I'll just do a bust of beat and you can rap over it. How about that? How about that? Name. Oh, oh, your audio just went to dog shit. Went to total dog is it shit. Better? It's is better. It better. Wow. Yeah. Hey, sorry about that. Thankfully, hmm. grateful for that. Very interesting. Where the fuck is this? Okay, James, we don't have time for this bullshit. Let's take another caller while you're doing that and sucking fuck our way to the top. Here we go. Go for it. Amen, Kib. Um, Wait, that was weird. There we go. Hello, Jamin Kib. Um, first of all, I would like to say, loving the two man, two boy, every time podcasts, uh, mm. really good. Thank fucking God we got that MLG haunt asshole out of here. Hasn't uploaded an animation for fucking what's it been ten years or something. Mm. Uh, shit. Um, but um, also I want to say, you want to play Among Us. That was the call. All right. uh, th thank so, you so much, thank Adam. You for that call, Adam. That was, that was beautiful. A great call, Adam. That was beautiful. Um, Adam, that was beautiful. Didn't hear a question. Did you have a question? Did you have a question, or do you want me to say something? I have. We got another caller too, Adam. Thank you for that, bro. We appreciate you, all of you callers and everyone uh, listening and watching for. Uh, oh, supporting you, this. you said that you just loved the podcast. Thank you. He did. He loved the podcast. Thank you, Adam. He loves. He. I loves hope this isn't a repeat, but we're going to see. This one comes from. Somewhere. Hello, Stephen Kibb. Um, huge fan from Hawaii here. Love you guys' work. Brother first introduced you guys a couple years back, a few years back. Hilarious. Love you guys' humor and everything. Has he watched the podcast? <laughs> Stephen Kibb. Um, <laughs> has he seen the my podcast? My question was, how has creating has videos question. and creating this group affected your guys' relationships? And do you think you guys' friendships have grown more through these um, videos and podcasts that you guys have made into the Sugar Pine 7 group or do you think it's made it tougher or made it more hard to um, continue to grow as friends um, because of this group so 
yeah, that was my question. Uh-oh. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys' work. Love you guys' work. Thank you. Question. Hey, thank you for that. That's very sweet. Yeah, this is, this James, is James, not, not Steve. Steve. Um, <clears throat> but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I, I, I would say, dude, that, I thought that was a really good question. That's why I included it. And I thought it was really funny that he addressed you as Steve. Um, I would say in a lot of ways, mm-hmm. I wouldn't change a thing in any way. But in a lot of ways, it's made our friendships so much closer, especially mm-hmm. with James, because I, I met him through this. So James is a brother mm-hmm. and he will be someone who's in my life forever. Um, and Steve was kind of already someone who was, I think, kind of already going to be in my life forever as a best friend. And it kind of brought us together. But it, it did also, you know, throw some wrenches in the machine in certain ways, just because when you work with someone and your creatives, you're butting heads you know, here and there. And, and, you know, especially if there's a leadership role and, you know, decisions are made maybe that not everyone's a hundred percent on board with. And so like, there are things that, you know, it kind of brings you together no matter what. So it's probably only brought us closer, um, in as a result. So I think that's actually my answer. It's just that it has. Only yeah. It's brought definitely, us closer, definitely brought us closer in, in the obvious way that like we weren't friends before and now we mm-hmm. are friends. But mm-hmm. e- even like that, I mean, when you, when you work with somebody in general all day, every day, like a lot of the times your coworkers become your friends, you know, because you see them so often during the day and for mm-hmm. every day of the week. Right. But for us, it was like, it wasn't just us working together. We were making something that we were passionate about that, that took all of our heart and soul and minds to make. And so we just like synced up so well, you know, and like that. <laughs> and we have free Red Bull. <laughs> and we had free Red Bull, um, which was awesome. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Um, but also, show. I mean, it, it did it did strain at times too, you know, because once it became mm-hmm. something that was a business, there were stakes and there were consequences and there were responsibilities, you know, and Kib and I never really had any beef that lasted any length of time really, you know, like Kib and I, Mm -hmm. like maybe we would butt heads in a moment and then immediately not really have anything after that. And if we did, it would like, it did never really went past the, the butting heads into the conversation of that heated two lines each. And then it's, it's done. And then we just cool off on our own because yeah. we're, we're both over. Um, there was definitely some things. tension between Steve you know? and I at the end of SB7 um, as things were falling apart. Um, but that's all water under the bridge now, obviously. Um, water under the bridge, baby. But that's water what happens, you know. You and especially with you know working with your friend, it's it seems like an amazing thing, and there are so many times where it is amazing. Um, but it makes it harder because mm-hmm. now it's not just a friendship; it's a professional relationship at the same time, you know, and so you kind of might give your friend some leeway um, because they're your friend, but then over time that builds up and it becomes tension and, and things that are rep- repressed. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, I think it's, it's tough to have three equal best friends, but somebody is in charge yeah. because then there's also a power dynamic that's introduced to a friendship that shouldn't organically have that. Um, and I think that's only natural when when you're put in a position like that but i think we all handled it the best we could and and still mm-hmm. remain best friends and brothers you know what i mean so like there's no remaining like resentment or anything like that really we just kind of are all doing our things and it, and life is gone yeah, how it's gone truly. and we're happy we're that was here that's a great question mm-hmm. you hear what i'm saying that was a great question yeah and, and an even greater answer you guys thank you so much for listening to the podcast today on soundcloud on spotify on our on any any other weird platform you mm. fucking freaks are listening to it on. Uh, we love you, and we thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed the calls. If you do want to um, submit a voice call like that, it can be a story to share. Um, it can be a question, whatever it is for us all. Um, you can share that to beyondthepinemail at gmail.com. Um, yeah. You can do it from your phone. It's super easy. Voice memo. You click it, you hit send, you email it. It's easy peasy. You know, 179, that's one, baby. 79, um, right, thank James? you all so much for watching. Um, Take us home. We'll see you next week. <sighs> Easily. It's not even, Easily. It's we'll not see you next week. Hard. And what, yeah, unless, unless one of us gets in a terrible test, accident. comes back. Positive again. Again. Oh, fuck. I don't want that. Yeah, truly. Again.